New Mexico is the second slowest in America. And another fun fact is that New Mexico is responsible for 20% of all the abandoned pets in America, 20%. Lady is one of those, huh, baby girl? Yes, my baby. Yes, my baby. She's a talker. Hi, Louie. So Lady was being euthanized in Las Vegas. Our adopter, who adopted her when she was a four-month-old puppy and adopted Louie down the road at the pound the same day, uh, abandoned them to a kill facility in Las Vegas, and they were literally euthanizing her. And then they found her chip. Come here, baby girl. Come here, lady. Oh, you're so silly. She's yelling, but she's liking her tail. Come here, you. Come here, lady. Oh, you're funny. These are our babies from the reservation. They had to be trapped. They were feral. Hi, Reed. Dude, my buddy. Dude, my buddy. That's my Reed. That's my Aster. Where's my Bryce? There's my Bryce. Yeah, they need to be trained. We need volunteers for that. I know. I know. Come and say hi. Come say hi, you silly girl. Hi, Louie. Hi, Louie. Yes. Oh, this silly lady. Silly lady. And... Where's my boyfriend? There's my boyfriend, DK. He came to us with multiple gunshot wounds from the Mescalero Reservation. He had been left for dead. And he had to have several body parts amputated because by the time someone asked for help, he had been laying there dying for several days with massive infections and gangrene had set in. So he's missing parts of his couple of his feet and he had to have skin grafts and lots and lots of care. Here's Laura, she needs lots and lots of care too. I do need lots and lots of care. Yes, I'm asking people for donations by showing them what we're Are doing. Well, yeah. Chicken. Not yet. And I wanted to show you with all these dogs and we've got about a hundred pets right now, this cupboard is supposed to be full of canned food. But canned food for here. for our special needs dogs and for our regular dogs and for our special needs cats. And this right here, most of what we have, this is ID and this is just for one special needs cat. And the rest, this is all we have right now. That's it. We don't have the money. Yesterday I had to buy paper towels with my own money because there just literally wasn't any. And um, I'm not even going to talk about the fact that I don't get paid here and didn't have very much to spend. <laughs> so we've got dogs and dogs and dogs and dogs everywhere. And we do not have any potty pads. Thankfully, Judith Flink sent us some last week from Chicago. We did not have the money to buy any. God bless her. Here's Lily, also from the reservation, came to us with two surviving puppies. The rest had been killed on the reservation. They had terrible, terrible, severe giardia, and we're dying of that. Lily has a ruptured salivary gland, and she is under treatment for that and may need surgery if it doesn't uh, fix with this current round of antibiotics. Where's the puppy? She's currently babysitting this beautiful blue-eyed puppy who is not hers, but she is the sweetest little mommy and we don't have space, so she's taking care of her. There's our, there's our spirit out there schnoozing. Yes, hi buddy. Here's Cody. Of course, Spirit was just, Mountain Spirit was just rescued from the reservation a few days ago. Yesterday he had his neuter surgery, his blood work. Thankfully, he was clear of heartworm, anaspasmosis, and ehrlichia because he was covered in ticks, so we had to spend the extra money for those tests. And um, he had a quill removed that is um, sticking out of his face causing infection. He's got more, but it would have taken so much surgery and destroyed his jaw area for a while. So they'll be coming out in hot compresses every hour. Cody is 10, 11 years old. Rescued him when his owners moved to Germany and left him behind. Where's Fox? 
Where's the little fox? It's one of our shy girls from Mescalero. And of course, here's Toonie Toonie. This is our Toonie Toonie. Hey, that's Toonie. Hey, that's my Toonie girl. That's our Miss Toonie. Yes, she came to us on uh, Mother's Day of 2017. And still here, people don't give older pibbies much of a chance. But we're going to find her to write home. We're going to find her to write home. And this is why we ask for your donations. This is who you help. Okay, let me tell you that our staff could all make so much more money in the private sector. They are absolute angels. And today, two of them are still waiting to be paid. And payday was Monday. We just don't have the money. And thank God they are here for the animals and are hanging in there with us. But we need your help right now. Please become a monthly sponsor or make a one-time gift at animalvillagenm.org because this is who you're helping.